Hello everybody, my name's Roy, I'm a targeted individual and today I've got a friend with me, his name's Aubrey and he's from Boston in the United States. Nice to see you Aubrey, over to you sir. Hey Roy, um, how you doing Roy? Um, it's an honor to be here with you and um, I've followed you for many time and um, you were the first person that I I start reading about target individuals when I first find out about my situations. And um, thanks for the for your service. And um, oh, you're doing a great job. Oh, and um, um, I can't wait, you know, for the world to find about this true and um, this program get to be exposed. And um, we finally get justice, you know, because uh, we deserve it. You know, justice, uh, the justice that we deserve it's an emergency type because humanity count on it. So um, I will start saying about my, my life myself. So I'm 35. I'm from Boston, Massachusetts. And um, I found out about my target individual approximately three years and in, 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 in a half ago. Uh, I believe that I've been targeted since I was 17 years old. So I was in high school. So I found out three years ago. And um, since then, my life been upside down. Um um, it just like you start seeing the world, the country in a different way, you know, uh, the way you understanding things is different, you know. So uh, my goal to be here today is to basically uh, um, tell my story uh, when all justice come so they can watch this YouTube video and they can see the truth and they can see our story, what we're going through right now. Um, I believe 2023 is the year for us to expose the program. You know, enough is enough. You know, uh, we have enough. You know, this thing is, it's uglier than, than, than what Hitler did to the net, to the Jew, with all due respect, you know, to my brothers and sisters. You know, what they doing to us, this experiment, um, it's on humans. It's not right. Uh, it's something that actually wants you to do bad things. You know, um, the facts, the, mo the most problem about this program is to uh, make other people understand the technology. You know, um, yes, we can call it invisible weapons, no weapons, do, V2K. At the end of the day, it's all technology. You know, it's nothing fancy. It's nothing secret. You know, it's all technology. And you have governments and a group of people choose to use this technology covertly, secretly to hurt people and do experiments on innocent people. And everybody will stand against that. And unfortunately, this is happening right now in secret. Why the government and our government uh, cover it and protect it at the same time? Something is not right. Uh, children's, women, and young people, everybody are being attacked with this technology. And people are not understanding what is going on and what can accomplish with this technology. So it's just a notion that your brain can be reading uh, live instantly that other brothers and sisters of mine that never have this experience uh, don't want to believe us because it never happened to them. Because if it was never happened to me, I, I, I'll probably say the same thing. Seconds, it's just notion that our government will never do that to us, you know, because we don't have money, you know, we not important. So why would they picking us to do that? You know, I don't understand why they picked me. And I'm pretty sure every single TI I said the same thing. Why me? But unfortunately, it happening, you know, and this is the things that we need to explain to regular people, you know, what we are going through. And third is the notion of that technology or this technology is so powerful and so strong. Even that I'm trying to explain to you or uh let's say our regular people that, hey, this is going on, like, this is possible. Uh, they have the power with this technology 
to discourage that person that you're trying to tell the truth. And this is a problem. You know, those are the three category problem right now that we have, we need, and we must overcome, you know, because our only power is us. And our second power is to tell the truth. And they have the power to put us in the shadow and they have the power to black the truth. And we being in pain 24 seven, we go going through things that regular people can't stomach for one day or two weeks or people will kill themselves, you know, if they know what we're going through or if they're going through what we're going through. I have families, I have children, I'm being targeted. My family is targeted. My kids are targeted. And as a man, I have enough. I ask myself, I'm good. If they can do that to me, let me deal with it. But unfortunately, that's not the case. My kids are targeted now. And I hope one day when justice come, when the truth came, this video will serve me. And those that do that to me and my family and my children will be served. And I will never stop until I expose this program and everybody in the world know what is going on right now. Because if we knew, if the whole world can unite, send millions of people to Germany, fight Hitler, you know, if we all can unite millions of individuals, see what I'm talking to you right now, they, they fucking up my heads. Like you can see, like I have some stuff in my head, you know, I have some copper, you know, it just, the fact is, you know, they never stop putting pain on us, you know, but nevertheless, uh, the most important thing I was going to say is one day when we get our justice, they can see that video that we were crying for justice while everybody was sleeping. We were telling the world what is going on while everybody call us crazy. We were telling the world the face of the enemy is why everybody calling us crazy. And I hope this video will certify us and those that are doing this to you and I and our family will go to hell. If we still hunt, hunting for Nazi 80 years from now, I believe the next hundred years, we will hunt for this garbage people that's doing that for us, to us. We will hunt them. We will bring justice to them. They will go to hell. And it's time now to start this process. Like you said, this thing been going on for 28 years. I'm 35. This has been going on since I was 17 years old. You got kids, five years old, babies. You know, these people are putting stuff in their ears. We can't stand in and do nothing. You know, there's no... I'm going to be okay. There's no, I'm going to be all right. Special us targeting people, you know, going through this thing. There's no, we're going to wait and wait. No more wait anymore. We can't afford to wait anymore, you know, and we need to get together and expose the program and bring these people to justice. Sample has that, you know, um, my biggest problem is targeting individuals somehow don't want to connect it. You know, I understand the devil play in the middle, try to separate us, but it's strange that targeting individuals don't want to connect it and group together, talk together, get together and find a way how to expose the program. You know, this is bothering me a lot. You know, it's stressing me out, you know, but like I said, I understand their tactic. I understand the technology, what they have in hands and what they can do. And, you know, and it's just like, I'm being frustrated 24 seven, you know, you get to see a crime and you want to expose the crime. You want to bring the crime to justice. You know, you want to bring, you want to bring those that are doing this justice. And it's so hard to do that because whoever is doing the crime can blind whoever that you 
you know, willing to tell the story or the truth. You know, this is something us human being never been before. You know, this is an experiment. Human being never get to uh, actually in the middle of these things, you know, and that's how or why they calling us crazy because they can't believe they can do this and this is possible, you know, sadly. And um, for us that know the truth and for us that going through it, it's time. It's time now to expose the program by any means necessary. You know, so people like you and other people, um, one of my friends, I spoke to her, I forgot her name. I think her name is Jenny, but she's from Louisiana. She was with you though, a couple of weeks ago in London. I think you know, y'all went to the hospital together too. I'm you know, to. yes, you know, um, I have saw what they do to her, to her face. You know, when I first met her, we talked, uh, she had everything normal, you know, but somehow they, you know, with this uh, optogenetics implant, I mean, not implant because they can, they don't have to put anything inside of it to do that. It's optogenetics frequency technology. You know, um, it felt sad to see how they change her face you know, uh, remotely, you know, to explain that to somebody, that person will bug it out. You know, how do you do this remotely? Like, you know, uh, she never had no surgery, you know, how can somebody do this? Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that happened to me, that happened to her, and that happened to another friend of mine. You know, these people are basically doing sur surgery on you remotely you know with a frequency technology okay just because you don't have the right tools to expose the frequency you know what i'm saying and for these people to have the nerve to go around and do all this nasty shit to people you know uh it were fighting you know it were fighting till i die on my own two feet until the truth came until people start believe the truth, you know? And today, personally, I want every target individuals to be aware and, and it's time to take that serious, man. It's time to take this thing serious. You know, I don't wanna uh, see in our years of 2024 and we're still talking about pain every day, like how they put in pain on our body 24 seven. I don't wanna hear that. You know, I don't want to go another years and going through all this thing now, you know what I'm saying, now since, and the more we not focus on how to expose the program, the more we focus on ourselves, and the more we destroy ourselves, the more we destroy our accountability. You know, the more we go online and write stuff that, you know, later on people can come at us and ask us for explanations that would make it harder for us to expose the program. You know, so I have seen a thousand times, if there's a, a thousand C high with me right now today, we can go in front of a, a lawyer office, a thousand of us, all right, especially right here in Massachusetts, in Boston. We can go to Harvard, a thousand of us, in front of an office and tell a story and tell them that we're not going to leave until you taking care of this issue. You know, until we we figure out because um, I want to go to a to a psychiatrist to prove you that I'm not lying to you. You know, I want every single TI to go to a psychiatrist or, 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 or to a psych to a psychology class, whatever we call them, so they can ask the same question and we will tell you the same answer. So I want to clarify that so you don't have to tell us crazy or this is not existing. So that's the most important thing. But, you know, it's just the, the facts that we can't group together to do that because they can't call all of us crazy at the same time. You know, and I believe that's basically what they stopping us to do. You know, I myself, I try so many times to get other TI because there's so many target individuals that being targeted uh not knowing what to do 
and there are so many targeted individuals that are being targeted and then they make these people react crazy on purpose. You know, they basically uh, frequency these people's thoughts and brain to do things that, you know, that would, would pill us crazy. You know, that's okay, you know, but I think if we, people is targeted, that's doing okay, paying our bills, uh, have our families and, do, you know, do what everybody do usually every day. They can't call us crazy. You know, if a thousand of us, just like me, a thousand of other target individuals that have their house, they things together, stand together, they can't call us crazy. You understand me? There's not a government subjects that are going to come to us and say, well, you know what? What you say is a conspiracy. Well, guess what? There's a hundred persons who saying that. We need justice right now. You know, there's patented, you know, about these weapons. There's programs. There's all type of people, state to state. All right. For example, if that happened here in Massachusetts, okay, you will find other people in California and Texas is going through the same thing. So how are you going to call me crazy? You know, and I believe that's the uh, the first tackle or the first way to start expose the program. You know, the more honest people, you know, with all due respect, I understand a lot of CI are targeted and not having proper job and proper hygiene and some of them not really understand what is going on because a lot of people said I have stuff inside of me, this, this, and that. We got to be very careful. And this is why I want to personally uh, have a exceptional, exceptional, a real exceptional target individual groups that doing the right things, have a job, you know, uh, paying their bills, then just like normal everybody. Then when we get together, you know what I'm saying? We can actually prove the lawyer, hey, that's my job. I've been doing my job for five years. There's my wife with me here. You know, there's my daughter. There's my family. You know, uh, I am not crazy, you know, and this uh, technology exists and it happening to me and I want justice. Something that simple, Ori, you know, and it seemed like it's impossible to get that done. You know, there's and been so many. There's been so many protests. Um, there's been protests in Washington. There's been protests all over the world. Um, quite a few years ago, like four years ago, Dr. Matthew Aaron was at Washington. They were at the White House protesting for targeted individuals. And at the moment, we've got stuff going on in London. We've got stuff going on in Belgium. Um, there's groups in Germany. There's groups in, in, in America. And um, there are quite a lot of groups that are actively actually getting this together now, Aubrey. You know, I said they've been protesting maybe six, seven, eight years now, I, either at the White House or in, you know, different states. So it you know, is what, going on. What happened is, uh, Mr. Roy, um, I have a bunch of uh, interacting facts that the government going to have to answer. You know, because I'm a driver. You know, I drive every day. Um, I have a, a 360 camera. You know, like a, a camera that I can look in the back, look in, you know, side vertical and horizontally so basically yeah. i have a camera that can have 360 and it have full tube okay so i have plenty of uh facts how i'm driving and i'm being harassed with uh coding car harassing like you know you can see the car from like you know a hundred meter away start making the move going to the left and come and come in front of me. You know, you can see the same thing happen over and over. You know, and I believe with a good lawyer, with a, 
a good supporting T.I., the government going to have to answer me that. You know, you said that's, not something, that's not something that happened one time. That's something that happened every day. You, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You said, you, tar you said you're targeting, <clears throat> yes. excuse me, started about three and a half years ago. Yeah. How did it start? Uh, from what I understand, man, you know, um, it just one night, man. One night um, I was working and um, I'm seeing things start looking strange. You know, a car, uh, it start with cars, you know, big trucks, you know, like this big Chevy trucks, like everywhere I go, they follow me, you know, especially at nighttime. If they don't follow me, they just get in front of me on purpose and cut me on purpose. Uh, trucks and trucks over and over. I, mean, I kept asking myself, like, why there's so many trucks like harassing me every day? You know, then it seemed like it never stopped. You know, then I start uh, seeing light, like, you know, how they harassing you with lights, like turn off, off, on, off, on. Whenever I look, you know, something is moving. Like, you know, whatever my eyes lay, whatever I lay my eyes on something, it's moving. Like something is happening. You know, so um, um, from what I understand, you know, um, where I live at, a lot of people know what's going on, but there's nothing they can do. You know, uh, they know uh, it happening, but unfortunately, even, you know, they can't do anything about it because that's something that came from Washington, D.C. So, you got B2K. Uh, no, I have a uh, high tinnitus. Um, I have a uh, image put in my on my head. Um, nose um, harassment. Um, people harassment, like you know, uh, people just get in front of me out of nowhere. You know, um, I have a uh, car harassment. Oh my goodness! Like every time that I step in my car, lot, where it's like they were waiting for me to harass me, you know, 24 seven. Um, they go to my money, to my bank account, um, harass me through my bank account. Um, I invest in the stock market close to uh, $28,000. They purposely took away $3,000 of my, of my investments, all gone away, all gone. Um, they harassing my family but my family don't know what's going on because I don't want to tell them what's going on because they won't be able to approach or understand that or stress more. So I, I decide to keep it quiet because they, you know, I don't want them to stressing out more. Um, from what I understand, one of my family member, uh, they kill and directly one of my family member. Sorry to hear that. Um, they attacking me. They attacking my kids right now with this, no weapons and I'm going through all this shit silently, quietly, and there's no government and no entity out there that want to work with me and help me to get my justice, you know? So um, this is not a fight about democracy. This is a fight about Hitler, you know, this is a, not a fight about justice. This is a fight about Nazism. You know, this is a fight about humanity. You know, I told everybody, whatever country that you're living at, you know, just accept that you're fighting for your own country. You know, you're not fighting for yourself. You fight for your own country by knowing what's going on because everybody, you're basically ahead of what will happen to your brothers and sisters. And that is your job to tell your brothers and sisters what your government is doing to you. So um, this is my goal now, why? And um, like I said, 2023 is done year to expose this program. And um, I'm in the process to do everything in my power, you know, to get people like me because um, I do have a lawyer, actually. I, I have spoke to a lawyer. And explain the situations. And I told him about FISA, 
court and this, 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 and that. And all the guy want is at least a good 20 other TI, 20 other people like me that's going through the same things. Okay, to come at him and explain to him what we're going through at the same time. Tell me why I can't find me a good 20 TI or a good 20 target individual with this shit together to come and help me expose the program. And that's that hurt me, bro. That, that hurt me yeah. real bad. A, a, a lot know? of it is you're you're very lucky. Because... I spent money to that lawyer too. You know, I spent no. over twenty seven hundred because I gave right. him five hundred dollars first to hear me out. You know, and he's a constitution lawyer. You know, right. I gave him five hundred dollars to to hear my story out. Okay, yeah. and then I have to pay him to take a look at it. Okay, yeah. and then give him a lot of uh. Uh, facts. I have a bunch of uh, 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 recording things that I have from voicemail uh, nice. from people, you know, that calling and harass me because I'm always recording everything. Like, you know, I have my computer here with me. I have uh, two, two, I believe, three million gigabyte. You know what I'm saying? Like, you basically okay. recording things every day. Yeah. You know, so uh, what I was going to say is you're fortunate. <clears throat> Because most of us have been stopped working. You know, they've made us so severely disabled or, or bad that we can't work. You know, but we're still credible people. But they, 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 they made us unemployed. They took our businesses, our wives, our families and our properties and everything else to make us in this way. You know... So everybody is not that fortunate, Aubrey. Well, I, I'm, I'm, I'm actually not, you know, have, I mean, have it all, you know, because um, I'm working, you know, I'm, you know, please believe me, they truly, truly sabotage uh, every way of making a living, yeah. you know, person, you know, um, I used to work for Coca-Cola. I made uh, over 80K in one year. Um, before the program, my average uh, gross domestic was like fifty six to $60,000 a year. Okay. You know, now it's very much low. You know, very, very much low. I will say probably like 30 something. You know, so... Um, I'm not going to let that stop me taking a shower. You know, I'm not going to let this stop me dressing properly. I'm not going to let yeah. this stop me not but fighting. But that's the enough. different aspects of the program. Right. Because, right. you know, you know that, that they, they done me in a way that I couldn't talk anymore, Aubrey. I had to rehabilitate my voice because they took my power of speech away because they blocked a part of my brain where I couldn't speak anymore. So all of our targeting is different. They, they do but that I'm... to one of my family too. Then that's okay. why I'm here. You know, that's why I'm here. They do that to one of my family and um, it's a kids. I'm sorry I'm not... to hear it. Yeah. I'm... I'm not playing, man. Well, there, there, there is I'm a here. class action lawsuit. I'm here, I'm here man. I, I'm here. I'm, that's why I'm in this. That's my first time being in YouTube. That's my first time showing my face to the world. Right. That's my first time. Thank you, Aubrey. About this program. You know, yeah. so when the justice came, I'm going to get justice for my kids. Yeah, good. And we'll you all know, be behind you, Aubrey. I'm telling you, man, you know, I got so much anger inside of me. Yeah, I, 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 I have. But over the years, I've had to let it go a little bit because it was eating me up. Because, yeah. you know, uh, the, I, I, I speak to 50 or 100 people a week. You know, I speak to probably 10 people a day, TIs. You know, and... Um, uh, so many that they're, they're just broken and we've just got to try and help rebuild one another, be there for each other, support each other, you know, and like I said, there is a class action lawsuit going on 
Um, they're trying to get it together in Belgium. It's um, it's a company called Icator. Uh, Melanie, I heard about it. yeah, yes, Melanie Brisham. Well, this has been going many years now, and um, they're trying to get it together. You know, so but but I I don't know where they are with it at the moment. Do, do they have a lawyer? Because uh, what can happen is I have a lawyer. You know that uh, if my lawyer didn't get in contact with them and talk to them because uh, this is not a lawsuit. You know, because I'm gonna be honest with you, if they give me money, I'm gonna use that money and go go after these people that do that to me and my family. Yeah, you know. This is the things that these people are going to hell. They must go to hell on planet Earth, you know, yeah. before they die. And they will meet Jesus or God, you know, after they done here. But in the meantime, you know, the pain yeah. that I'm going through, money won't fix that. You know, yeah. that's okay. You know, yeah. but uh, I would rather we expose the program and let the world do their job. You know, yeah. it's just like the second you said you're going to uh, have a lawsuit. That mean you're okay for what Hitler did to the Jews. That mean you're okay with Nazism. I'm having electricity on my mouth 24-7. You know, when they want to put pain in me, they put electricity on my mouth because uh, at first they kind of like mess up well, one of my tooth. And second, they never let it heal. So you never get healed. And so when they shot me with this electricity, I can have the maximum pain that you can accountable. Money won't pay that. Money won't pay me 24-7 and all this pain that I'm going through. You understand that? It's just the notion I of... I understand a lot, Aubrey, yes. It's just the notion of... Um, I'll be damned for any TI I think about we're going to have a lawsuit or we're going to do something because what's going to happen is they're going to do the same thing to our children, you know, and it's up on us to not only expose the program once and for all and send this garbage to hell, you know, every day I pray to God, burn their soul, burn their spirit. God talked to me, Roy, in a certain way. They shocked too, but I'm not going to sit here and tell you how God talked to me. You know what I'm saying? But I know what makes me still standing here is because I'm seeing it. They seeing it too. You know, this program, from what I understand, they try to understand even God for me. They try to, at a certain time, I was a spy for Russia. A certain time, I was a spy for China. A certain time, like, you know, they accuse me of all type of stuff, you know, just to put electricity on my body, you know, and um, enough is enough, you know, enough is enough. And uh, uh, we must do everything in our power. I just put my phone in the charger because it's about to die. So I'm sorry. Okay, if I... No, no problem. But uh, <clears throat> why? Mm -hmm. it's time, man. It's time. 2020, 2023, it's our year. Yeah, no, I've been telling a lot of people that because I've seen the community move so far this last year, uh, this last year because I know of two groups that have got 40 or 50 people on board that are actually very actively trying to help the TI community now. I so think, I think in the United States or, or, or in Europe? Uh, one is in Europe and one is in the States, um, which is da David um, David Morrow. Um, he's using the Brady Act. Um, so um, he's going to try and... The information, because um, Angel, I think you spoke to Angel, and um, you gave me Angel information. She's, she's from Oklahoma, you know, Oklahoma. And I spoke okay. to her morning she have a lawyer i have a lawyer you know so basically uh uh the more because she's she just like me you know she's i watch her interview with you everything is fine she's clean you know she's have a job these are other targeted individuals that i want to be uh cooperate with you know because it's so easy uh for them to call you crazy this and that you know so it's very important you know to you know, kind of position yourself 
in a place where, you know, they won't, you know, dare to even bring any other things. But um, yeah, uh, if you have his information, uh, please uh, give it to me. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll send. I'll, I'll send him. Um, it, he's on Facebook. He's got a Facebook group, and I'll send you his. Um, it, once we finish this, I'll um, I'll send you it. I'll send you his name. Yeah, because um, like I said, I have a lawyer. Okay. Yeah. If I can bring twenty people. Yeah. Okay. That going through the same thing with me, with well, zero, with zero yeah. issue, with zero uh, mental issue or whatever, you know what I'm saying? I have a case, yeah. man. Well, he I might be able to. You might be able to get together with him for a talk. Well, because if you the can, United States, um, if you can tell you're, that, you're, we're going to have different problems in Europe than you are in the states. Right. If you can. Uh, Tell them that because uh, no, I'll, been, I'll send you a message and you can chat with them. Like uh, they've been, yeah, they've been blocking all my information online, like messages. Just like yesterday on Twitter, I found a message. Someone texted me last September. You know, you know the uh, shadow ban. You know they banning us and everything. Yeah. So, specifically me, I have a lawyer. You know, and they know I'm talking to a lawyer. Once a week, you know, sometimes twice a week and stuff like they know I'm talking to a lawyer and their job is to do everything to isolate me, you know, and um, um, I'm fighting, man. I'm fighting, you know, um, I'm yeah. not going to stop until they get exposed, but I just want 19 or 20 people like me, Roy, you know, that uh, serious. I said, I'll, I'll hand you to David because I, I, I'll help people globally. But I know in America, um, there's there's a few people that are doing certain different things that may be of more help to the Americans than the Europeans or the Asians. I don't think so, man. You know, and here uh, it's well, like, there is uh, because you the, the Americans can use this act that David well, has well, uncovered. We have, we have so many. Uh, uh, things in a portfolio and toolbox to expose the, you know, the government, like, you know, it just affects is to a lawyer to take us crazy, which I, to take us serious, which I already have, which I already did. I have a lawyer that, you know, that. Yeah, no, a friend of mine, she went to see Dr. Hoffer in Miami three weeks ago and they found an implant in her and they also diagnosed her with Havana syndrome, the same as they have Len Baer. So she's now got proof because she went to Miami. She paid the thousand dollars for the scan, and she actually got recognized as being a Havana syndrome. Do they do they take it away? And do they take that things inside of her and give it to her? Or well, they they they, they she went into an MRI, but because but they can tell that. that Case, if that's the case, you know, she can contact me and Shelton, my lawyer will take her case instant. Yeah, she's got a lawyer because she oh, went okay, to good. see Dr. Hoffa in Miami. He's the okay. one who originally diagnosed the people with Havana syndrome. See, while I'm talking to you right now, man, they 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 assassinate me with electricity right now. Yeah, and that's I get headaches as well. That's one thing I, I hate about this program, man. You know, it just affects us. you. I'm in pain right now while I'm talking to you. Yeah. You know, but to tell somebody that to Well, I won't tell you about my broken or inner ear bones. I've got water on the lung. I've got a broken finger. I've got broken inner ear bones. You know, but... <sighs> yeah, just got to keep going, mate. I'm, I'm, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Enough is enough, Roy. Yeah, exactly. Enough, enough is enough. enough man. You know, enough is enough. You know, and, uh, you know, you know, I, I, I don't want to go through this thing anymore, man. You know, um, yeah. you know, I, this is... Well, well right. we've got to do it nicely, you know, like you've gone to the lawyers. Yeah, 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 most definitely. I would never hurt myself, of course. I would never hurt, uh, you know, or hurt myself or, uh, or hurt other people, you know. Um, no. That's basically what they want me to do, you know, like they send so many uh, suicide frequency to me, you know, sometimes I have to uh, 
using copper, you know, copper to take uh, yeah. the electricity on my head. Um, I, I use a, um, a very important too. I need you to really start telling people that too. Um, a wet, dry vacuum. Uh, let me show you. Uh, a wet, a wet, dry vacuum is basically a, a this thing right here. You see? Yeah. It? Okay. So, so I got this tube right here, uh, and then when they really hurt me, you know, like uh, if I do this, it sucks the electricity. Yes. It makes you, know, you feel better. Yeah, it sucks the electricity. Like, you know, like uh uh this things right here, this vacuum right here. Uh you know, uh I'm gonna play it for you too. So oops, the wrong one. So I feel good right now. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not lying. I'm dead ass, brother. I'm not yeah. fucking lying to you. Yeah. You know, makes you, if it lying. makes you feel better, good. No, like uh, it really sucked the electricity of your face. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, man. You know, and I've been trying to bring this uh, things to order TI and tell them, hey, uh, you can actually black some of the pain. You know, with these things, and unfortunately, the devil make these people think I'm lying. You know, I spent three hundred dollars on a wet dry vacuum. Okay, uh, I'm not a constructor. I don't work for constructions. Okay, uh, you know, I never bought a wet dry vacuum in my life before. So, um, how am I going to, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, uh, things like this that really pissing me off, you know, that I know that will be able to help my brothers and sisters, you know, like, uh, this helped me so much, you know, with copper, uh -huh. Uh -huh. you know, when I'm having that burning feelings and the dew come, come up me, man, this thing suck it, you know, because, uh, it's invisible things, you know, and when, you play this thing around your head, around and everything, the pain stop instantly. So I want to pass that around to my fellow TI, you know. Um, he will definitely help you with the pain. But nevertheless, man, you know, um, this thing needs to be exposed. The program needs yeah. to be exposed. And uh, we need to tell the truth. And um, we need to get our life back. And hopefully one day, you and I will be in front of the judge and tell a story. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. You know, so that's my goal. That's what I want to do, you know, and um, why, like I said, you know, I have a lawyer, you know, I only need 20 people, you know, yeah. that doing good with their life, you know, that responsible, that stable, you know, I just need 20 of these people to tell the truth with me and I have a case, man, you know, so I'm trying to tell other TI that um, I, I already spoke to Angel and she's from Oklahoma, you know, and uh, we contact each other, you know, we talk to each other. Um, actually, she was the one that the mother of my kids don't want to believe me, you know. She was the one that's actually called her and tell her about the program. Okay. Yes, you know, so um, it's just like, you know, um, there's opportunity, there's possibility, you know, it's just like, I need other people like me, man, you know, so, um, help me out, you know, um, um, I'm gonna give you my info, you know, if you talk to someone that's stable, that doing something, you know, that not in the streets, you know, that stable in life, uh, you're welcome to 
give them my info and um, they welcome to talk to my lawyer, you know, and um, we can start the process, you know, because he, he need a certain supporting in case, you know, if thing is not, you know, if, you know, they come after him. So like I can have many proof, you know, because I already proved having proof with my car. Like, you know, I have a 360 camera viewing my car. You know, so I just need more people to back up my case, man. You know, but I do have a a case and uh, I, I, I have this opportunity to expose the program, you know, which it will be, you know, so uh, that's a job, you know, so pass it on, man, you know, pass it on. I'm suffering right now because my kids are targeted. I'm sorry to hear that, Mike. Wow. You know, I, I, I hope it gets better for all of us, Aubrey, you know, as soon as possible. I will do anything, you know, I will do anything, yeah. you know, to get, you know, get my justice. I'm, you know, I'm here anyway. I, I want the world that we're living at, you know, to take that serious, you know, because today it's me, tomorrow is going to be you. Yeah. You know, if you let me go on quietly, Tomorrow you will go down quietly, you know. So um, I want to say, man, you know, thank you for what you're doing. Um, that's my first thank time. You, Aubrey. That's my first time being on YouTube, you know, right. talk about these things, you know, because I very, very much take it serious. But um, um, that's it, man. That's what time. That's what year, man, you know. Thank you, Aubrey. Um, what the- I'll do is when when we finish, I'll upload the um, the video, and um, I'll send you the link. And then if anybody comments on it, you can answer the comments, and and I'll put you in contact with David as well. In the sure hope will. That- yes, sure will. I will give you my info, my private info, and let me know. You know, let me know, and then um, yep. I can connect them to my lawyer, and um, uh, we might find some good news, man, and we will. You know, we yeah. will, and um, we will expose this program. We'll get our justice. We'll get our life back, and um, um, I, 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 I hope one day I get to live in a world where I get to tell my story every day, and for this nasty experiments to never, never, never happen again. Thanks ever so much, Aubrey. And God bless you, brother. God bless you and your missus and your family as well. And um, I'll get I'll get the contact details to you. You too, white man. God bless you. And this is our year. We're going to yeah. expose the program this year. And um, um, we're going to get our life back, brother. You know, um, I love you like a brother love, to me, love man. Love you too, brother. Be strong, God my bless. brother. Thanks very much, Aubrey. You too, sir. God bless you too, sir. Thank you, sir. Cheers, Aubrey. Thank you.